Orange is a French telecom company. We are present in 26 countries, mainly in Europe, Middle East and Africa, with more than 270 million customers worldwide. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the Bug Bounty program manager since 2019, currently working with Orange France. We have been doing Bug Bounty with YesWeHack for the last six years, and we now have a pretty huge scope with thousands of subdomains and mobile applications in our permanent private program. Orange France launched its bug bounty program pretty early in 2016. Since then, we have received and corrected more than 2,000 bug reports from security researchers. We now have most of our web exposed attack surface in our permanent private bug bounty program, and we are still adding more and more scope to the program. Our programs are managed by a team of security experts in charge of the technical reproduction, severity evaluation, enter remuneration, but also internal communication, tracking, up to the fixed verification. The bug bounty is now one of our key vulnerability detection system for our publicly accessible application. And we also use its output as a security watch and awareness tool for our employees. As with every innovative and disruptive project, the most important thing is to communicate well internally, to show the benefits of the approach and ensure the support of the top management. My second piece of advice would be to start small, but to start as soon as possible. Start with a small app, with a high security level, with a small number of hunters and a low reward grid. This way you can't go wrong. And then upgrade your program as often as possible add new scopes, invite more hunters, add more eligible vulnerabilities, upgrade the reward grid, and this way it will also allow you to better manage your budget over time. And last but not least, in my opinion, bug bounty should be permanent. Having the security of an application tested for one or two weeks by two or three experts, this is auditing, this is pen testing. The strength of the bug bounty is to have hundreds of researchers with varied skills and unlimited time to test the security of your applications. We did our first bug bounty event at the Nuit du Hack 2016 on a very small web app. It certainly helped us to improve the security level of this specific application, but mainly it allowed us to discover and feel the concept of bug bounty in real conditions. Shortly after, we opened the same web application in a permanent bug bounty program. And then we added a second application, a third one, and so on. And when we see how deeply the hunters can test your applications and how cost efficient it is, it quickly became obvious for us that we need to integrate our entire internet exposed surface into bug bounty. However, I do not recommend to directly integrate all of your applications into bug bounty. It took us years to be finally confident and mature enough to add our big wildcard scope as star.orange.fr, which includes several thousands of subdomains. To get there, we had to improve a lot to build a dedicated team, new tools, and processes. We made our program grow and evolve, adding more scopes and more hunters, up to the point where we made our big step go with full scope. The biggest challenges are not technical, they are at the communication and organization levels. We are going to allow hackers to attack us when we don't know their identities, when we don't have any contract with them, when they are going to test during the night and on weekends, and directly on our production environments. This requires a lot of awareness and support. This approach must be understood and accepted by all the stakeholders. The management, but also the dev, ops, SOC team, and even internal pen testing teams. At Orange, we have been doing bug bounty for six years, and each year we discover and correct more bugs than the previous year. You always have new apps, new features, new technologies to add to your scope. You can always invite more hunters, allow more vulnerability types, or increase your reward grade. And even if you do nothing, 
technologies evolve, become obsolete, and new vulnerabilities are discovered every day. Last but not least, maintaining a good relationship with hunters is crucial for the health of your program over time. Response time, transparency, and fairness will make hunters want to work with you, because no hunter means no bug bounty. Since our first step in the world of bug bounty, we decided to work with YesWeHack. YesWeHack helped us in the creation of our first program, but also and mainly in its evolution over time. Which scope to add, which hunters to invite, which vulnerabilities must be eligible, when and how to modify our remuneration scale, when and how to organize events, and so on. More recently, we have also subscribed to the triage service offered by the platform, which supports us in the qualification of bug reports. What makes YesWeHack strong is its deep knowledge of offensive security and its proximity with the ethical hacker community. I particularly like the way the bug bounty responds to the new security challenges of agile methodologies and organizations working in DevOps. Also, financially, it costs a lot to regularly and consistently audit our entire attack surface. The bug bounty responds to this need in a very cost-efficient way. Today, we use bug bounty reports to train our employees. For this, we have created a copy of some of our most emblematic websites, but accessible only internally in which we have left on purpose some of the vulnerabilities that were reported on our bug bounty program. Our employees then put themselves in the shoes of the hacker and try to find bugs which really existed in the past on our applications. It's a very playful awareness raising activity with a real success internally. An application without bug does not exist and there are only two types of bugs those that we know and mitigate, and those that we don't know yet. Bug bounty is becoming a security standard because it's the way to take your vulnerability research to scale. My advice would be to start small, but to start now.